Quite well, champ. All dressed up. No place to go? You don't have the killer instinct. I can show it to you. <laughs> Is that a fact? Well, maybe sometime we can go around or two. No time like the present. Or... You scared? What do you have, the death wish man? Did you notice? There's blood on the moon tonight. Hey! of every weakness. <laughs> Schools out. 
out, Chan. Ah! <laughs> What do we have here, lady? Somebody talk to me. Well, detective, we've got one dead boxer, Eddie Cunningham, 33 years old, light heavy champion of the world. Found him like this this morning. Somebody beat him to death. Well, I guess we got a new champ. So, is this the latest from our boy? Do we make this number three? Well, no witnesses, no fingerprints, just plenty of blood and guts. Mm. Well, no chance he left a suicide note, huh? Boys and girls, it looks like we've got ourselves a homicide. What the hell is going on? Any communication with the killer? Right, folks, 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 folks. Oh, <laughs> we're following all the leads, and we're getting real close to cracking this game. You betcha. And, 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 uh, all we need is a little cooperation, a little help. John, how you doing? How for movies this weekend? Do me a favor. Tell her, Emmy, I need a report on my desk as soon as she has it. I just spent 15 minutes with a dead guy who was smiling at me. Two. Baker, what's happening? God damn it, we need some answers. Son of a I'm man. working, Chief. You report to me. I shouldn't have to track you down. I don't expect a detective. Chief, just, Chief, what's with the language? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. last night before the boxer. And I'll put it on the board. Mm. The variations on a theme. How come I didn't get this last night? It was attached to email addressed to the chief. Mm. Did you see him when he came in? Did he have the face on? You know what I'm talking about? The big bulging eyes, the, the big vein in his forehead, the quivering lips, the... He's right behind me, we're up to our eyeballs and murder victims, and you're screwing me around. Huh? You have any idea of the press you're on me? Just this morning, the press, the goddamn press, crucify me! Chief, that's because you are the man. What? It's great to see you. You know, you should really come slumming down here more often. Dun, dun, dun. Oh, give me tricks! I want you to give me results, Chuck! Don't you ever... You ever do that again, uh, the great Chucker? He's gonna have to find himself a magic show in Poughkeepsie to do, because he ain't gonna be working here. Got it? Poughkeepsie. Uh, Hell, if I could conjure this bastard out of thin air, I'd be headlining in Vegas.
Nobody's gonna mess with me, babe. You're just being stupid. <laughs> Get back here, you bitch! My luck with men is for shit. Roxy, your luck is about to change. <laughs> you find anything? She found me, crutch. The name's Dutch. It won't be after tonight. And it's a marvelous night for a moon dance. Okay, let's dance. By trauma to the head his extremities the bones were shattered he died in extreme pain the killer has knowledge of anatomy the destruction is systematic precise every strike is a vital area a nerve center a meridian he definitely has a signature and i recognize it any evidence of a weapon or post-mortem mutilation doesn't look like he used a weapon but i've never seen wounds like these as for mutilation, it's the fight he's interested in. Once they're dead, he's done. Uh -huh. Thank you. What about the witness? Uh, killer choked her out. Didn't hurt her. She said she didn't see anything clearly, but I got a look at some mugshots in her. Well, this makes it number four, right, Houdini? Listen, I'm going to sign you some help on this. I want you to go see this guy. Uh, gee, <laughs> I don't need any help. Yeah, right. Well, let's see. We got four dead bodies out there. A techno freak uh, running around out there sending computer messages uh, uh, about the murders he's committing, right? We're no closer to solving this than we were at day number one. The killings are getting closer and closer together. I don't think that's a good sign. I mean, am I forgetting something or what? Jeez. You need to shut up, Chuck. Look, I'm working my... Shut up! Ah! You know, they're coming at me all the time. I'm just trying to... I'm trying to stop myself from bleeding, all right? That's it. Ken O'Hara, that's his name. He was the charge of the cereal section before you got here, huh? You know, one of the finest mine hunters in the country. He retired a couple of years ago. Mine hunter? What the hell is a mine hunter? Whatever, here's his address. Huh? And try to remember, his last case was a messy one. We put him in the hospital. Almost put him in the cemetery. 
Uh, I don't need any help. Yeah, right. Like I'm not going to need a triple bypass by the time I get through with all this. Stuff. I gotta have you help me out with this. All right. I want him on the case. It's up to you to convince him. Wear a suit. I'm trying to make a good first impression. Sorry, you're gonna be sorry. Come on, let me pay to clean your clothes. Uh, just 20 bucks, that should do it. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> hey, cruddy man. Looks like you pissed yourself. <laughs> hey, show me what you got, Jackie Chan, man. <laughs> I'm gonna take this out of your hide. Look, I said I was sorry. Hitting me's not gonna get your shirt clean. Yeah, but it's gonna make me feel a hell of a lot better. No way! You okay, honey? Stay here. This won't take long. Get him! I didn't want to fight them, but I didn't have a choice. Nobody hurts my family. I was afraid they hurt you. Hurt me? I'm Superman, you know that. Superman? Come on, let's fly. How you doing? I'm looking for Ken O'Hara. Get in line. I take it he's not home. He's dead. He's dead? I mean, I thought... When he gets back with my daughter, our daughter, he's going to be dead. Uh, so you guys divorced? Separated. It's his afternoon with Lauren, and he promised he wouldn't be late. <laughs> Pretty damn inconsiderate. If you ask me, how do you stand it? That's tough. We're going through a hard time, and... My name's Megan. Chuck. Oh, for you. Oh, thank you. Oh, oh thank you. I don't know your husband, and frankly, I don't think I want to. Where have you been? We were having fun, if that means anything to you. Right, Lauren? Yeah, Mommy, you should have seen Not that. now, honey. We have an appointment. Yeah, I bet you do. You promised to have her back on time. It's your responsibility. Right, Chuck? Absolutely. Stay out of this, Chuck. You've got a point. You should listen to her. I thought you were late. We are. Say goodbye to your father. Mm. Goodbye, honey. Love you. Sweet. I love you too, sweet. Lost your way, Chucky? Hit the road, huh? 
Actually, I came to see you, Superman. Well, nothing personal, but, uh, fuck off. Chief Hutchins sent me to see you. Hutchins? You mean you're not... No, look, can I come in? I don't do this anymore. Yeah, well, that's what the chief said. But he wants your help on this. The answer's no. You tell him that for me, okay? No sweat. <clears throat> chief said uh, you quit over a case. That right? You too, Hacha said hello. I have a safe drive. Something subtle going on here, Ken? You know, if you want me to leave, just ask. Hell, I didn't want your help anyway. Not again! Your spirit 
is unclean. Food movie on the computer. Cool, I'll be right there. Hey, what's up? Hey, this just started coming in. Oh, not this again. No, 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 this. Looks like our kind of action movie, huh? I can't trace the transmission, though. Hmm, something about it. Japanese sword movies. I love these things. Who's in it? <laughs> I know him. Get units over to 562 Houston Street right away. And copy that transmission for me if you can. Okay, okay, I'll try. 562 Houston. Who are you? You don't remember me? Pity. Champion. Now. Bye.
Yeah, hello? Ken, uh, <clears throat> this is Hutch. Listen, your, uh, your instructor, Master Takedo, he's been killed. What's the matter with you? You should know better than to go into a situation like that all by yourself. You should have had somebody with you. No time. This guy was getting beat down pretty bad. I mean... Hey, Ken! <laughs> ah, ah, thanks for coming. Hi. Good to see you, Chief. Listen, I'm sorry about your loss. Thank you. So what do we have here? Uh, Chuck here will bring you up to speed. Uh, the two of you can be working together as partners on this case. Good to have you on board, Ken. Uh, I know we could sure use the help. I mean, you want to come over to my office? Uh, see you later, huh? Ken, uh, hey. Thanks for coming and help. It's the least I could do. You read the file? Yeah, carefully. And? You're not getting anywhere, are you? That's why you're here, to save our poor souls. You got any ideas? A few. We're dealing with a very organized killer. He's someone who plans. These killings, they're not random, spur-of-the-moment things. He only kills who he wants to kill. Low-risk victims in low-risk areas. No witnesses. Everything very well planned. His behavior reflects his personality. His behavior is well-controlled, very well orchestrated. His MO is like no other. Now, I was thinking... Uh, let me cut you off right there. Because, uh, frankly, I don't care what you think. See, I know who you are, Ken O'Hara. You quit the force because you were scared. Now, I can't partner with a guy who's going to piss himself when he comes face to face with the enemy. So, you can have all your bullshit theories, write all your little reports, but just make sure you stay the fuck out of my way when stuff gets really dirty. You got that? Yeah, I got it. Good. So, uh, I'm sure they found you in your own office, so I need to check out a theory. I'll call you. I want copies of everything you got on this case for my report. See your fucking secretary, and have a fine day. He shoots. He scores.
Victim lived here alone. <laughs> Kelly? Is that you? Uncle Ken. Uncle Ken? Yeah, this is Master Takedo's daughter. What? Adopted daughter. Well, I feel for your loss, miss. But there's some questions I'd like to ask you, so if we can go down to the station. <laughs> it's okay, don't worry. We can do this tomorrow. The department will put you up in a hotel. Do you guys got any leads? Yeah, that's what we're doing here, working on it. Looked to me more like you were working on each other. Yeah, well. Look, while you're in town, why don't you stay at the house? I'll drive you. Uh, I got my own ride, and um, I'm going to be staying at Carol Hartman's. You know the place, right? Yeah. Great to see you, Uncle Ken. See you tomorrow. Come on. We should have questioned her tonight, Uncle Ken. Look, don't go making decisions you don't have the authority to make. Tomorrow is certainly not the time. Uh, when I'm the retired chicken shit and you're running the investigation, then you can make that call. Look, asshole, I'm gonna call it a night. You can skulk around here all you want. I'm done skulking. Well, there was no sign of a forced entry. An explosion was pretty primitive. Just gasoline and a stick of dynamite. I found no timer which means he was waiting there for Detective Baker. And how would you know that? Because I found it, skulking. He was waiting for Detective Baker here to come running. So maybe he's tied into a GPS system and can track all the police vehicles. And then he blew it just before he went in. To cover his tracks? Mm -mm. To send us a message. The killings are getting closer together. And he's getting better at it. It's almost as if he's learning. And he's getting more confident. That's why he's sending us the computer notes. Taunting us. This guy is way out there with technology. And frankly, I'm a little lost. But I met this computer hacker on a case a few years ago. And I'd really like to go see him just to get some advice on the computer end of things. Good, good. Yeah. Are you just gonna hang around here? We're gone. Uncle Ken! Uncle Ken! I'm waiting for you. Kelly, what are you doing still here? I want to be involved. You gotta stay out of this. What are you talking about? This is my dad. Just go home, Kelly. We'll call you when we know something, okay? <laughs> Please, just go home. Guts wanting to work with us. Let's get your car. Not again. Okay. You stick with me, play by my rules. So, what's your relationship with Kelly? Kelly? like my daughter. 
Oh, I get it. But I don't think you're her type. Oh, really? Why, because I'm black? No, because you're an asshole. Well, at least I know you're not a racist. Justice is just around the corner. So, just got dangerous or what? Only if you're allergic to bad hygiene. All right, then you follow my lead. No, you take the hallway. First door on the left. I'm going around the back, just in case. Bet you're hot, aren't you? They sure were liberated lovers. By the way, would you like me to liberate myself from this bra? <laughs> yeah, baby. You should definitely take your top off. You know all the right things to say. Damn. Don't cool off. I'll be right back. Who is it? Police! I need to ask you some questions. Well, what kind of questions? Open up. Just a minute. Be right there. Going somewhere? Remember me, Justice? Detective O'Hara? You looking for him? Oh, you messed with the wrong guy. You're coming with me. For what? I didn't do nothing. Pack some petroleum jelly computer, boy, because you're going to need it! Oh, God. Oh. Now, don't play dumb. You did it! Oh. oh, you mean the bank computer? I didn't do anything. No. Of course you did. I'm sorry, Justice. Detective Baker and I don't necessarily see eye to eye. Come on, Baker. I need his help <laughs> on my investigation. Oh, I'll help. I'll help. Uh, sure. Shut oh, the hell oh, oh, oh. There's no way this scumbag is getting out of this. Come on, he said he'd help. He'll help, right? Yeah, yeah, whatever you need. Sit down, Justice. Sit down. Oh. Ah, cool, man. What button did you push? Can you trace email, graphic files, other messages? Well, sure, that's not hard. This came into the station. Hmm. Later, baby. Wait for me. Man, you live like a slob. How do you stand it? Uh, there's no return address. I can't do it. I have nothing to work from. What's this for? That's for my all-nighter, so I don't have to leave the computer. What is it, coffee? Urine. Man, you are nasty. Oh, now watch. I can trace this message because it's coming in right now. What the hell? This one's for you. How can anyone know you're here? All right, uh, keep him talking. Type what you want to say and hit return. I can trace him from here. Holy shit, it is him. Do it. Lose the connection and I lose him. Who are you? What was that? Speed synthesizer. I got an idea. 
Can you prove you are who you say you are? How's this? Holy shit. Keep him going. I almost got him. Why are you killing? It's a game. See who will win. You too. Or me. Yes, I know. Chuck Baker is with you. He knows I'm here. Hell, this guy knows everything. Got you, you son of a bitch. Where? Beijing? No, wait. Tainan? Taiwan? No, that's just a blind. Anchorage? Los Angeles? Oh, this guy's good. I'm gonna put all this stuff out. Moscow? Berlin? Oh, man, even I couldn't do this. You gonna find this guy or what? He's getting there. Miami? Harrisburg? Hold on. Bingo. Last location, 843 Adams Street, number 21. Jesus, that's that's right around the corner. Come on, man. Let's go. Keep on talking to him. Slick for old retired dick, ain't you? We got chicken shit. Yeah, well, I wasn't done. first and secure the room and I'll cover your ass. That's the plan. White Buana without a gun covering my ass. No, I'm kicking the door in. Why? Because it's your idea, that's why. See, you guys are always sending the brothers in first, but I don't think that's right. Right, right. We're going together. One, two. <laughs> Nobody move. Unless you're growing, you better sit your ass down. Where's the computer? Where the fuck is it? Go take the back. I got these guys. Who are you talking to? Shut the hell up. Take the back. You're all alone, my friend. Kid! Where's your backup, detective? I got your backup right here. <laughs> Chicken shit, son of a bitch. Seems like your pal left you all alone, amigo. He's not my pal. Look, you guys, I got two SWAT teams on their way up here right now. <laughs> I don't think so, dipshit. Would you believe uh, one SWAT team in a canine unit? <laughs> Yeah! <laughs> 
took you so long? I was waiting for the right moment. I could have been killed. I waited that long. Yeah, I got a pickup at 843 Adam Street, apartment 21. Yeah. Uh. Kenny. Thanks. It's the least I could do. Yeah, well, all we got to do now is find the computer. There's no computer. It's not there. You look. Yeah. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Let me get this straight. Seven to one. And you looked for the computer? Yeah, I did. Now get over. Asshole. 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 Chuck Baker, a struggling magician, an even more struggling detective. Having just emerged from retirement, Detective Ken O'Hara knows he's in over his head. The fear is too much. <laughs> something. This is police business. Oh, save it, Chuck. It's not illegal to follow you guys. Well, stay out of our way. seems to be one step ahead of us. Man, I would love to catch this bastard so bad. He's got to be leaving something behind. Everybody makes mistakes. Not this psycho, not yet. Look, check the computer print out again. Maybe we missed something. Yeah. Hmm. 
This is all the standard stuff. You talking to him, him baiting you. He's got a wit, this one. Don't give him credit. Don't give this guy a personality. Serial killers fit a profile. White, 30s to 40s. Certain definable experiences. Child abuse, deviant sexuality. Hey, hey, hey. I'm just making conversation, man, so you can spare me the profile on lecture, okay? Hey, I never saw this before. What? The last line of his message. Say goodbye to Jim, Gene, and the heroes. There's blood on the moon. What the hell does that mean? You got me. Maybe there's some kind of connection there. Uh, Jim Neighbors, Gene Hackman, Hogan's Heroes. Uh, no, there's nothing there. Your mind works in weird ways. What about Carrie? Jim Carrie? Carrie Gene Carrie's Heroes? So what, he's going after somebody named Carrie? <sighs> Shit, this is nuts. Come on, man, let's get something to eat. All right, I'm going to check on Kelly. Wait a minute. Kelly? Yeah, I'm checking on Kelly. Jim Kelly, the guy from Enter the Dragon. Gene Kelly and Kelly's Heroes. He's going after Kelly while we're chasing his ghost. I'm not getting an answer here. barge in here like this. We thought you were in danger. I'm not in any danger. Except from you, dude. We got a message from the killer. He said you're next. We got here as soon as we could. Damn, this guy's got us chasing our towers again. We were here to save you, you know. You were? Yeah. Okay. Do me a favor, will you? Sure. Knock next time. Now get the hell out of here. Well, uh, we'd like to stick around, but we got to be going, right, Ken? You have my pager number, right? Yes, Uncle Ken. I have all your numbers. <sighs> Way too much, oh. Out behind. You're killing me! We have to knock first, remember? All right. Yeah. <laughs> 
Yes, I see you put the naked ladies on this one. He's trying to keep you happy, detective. Well, I gotta go. Hey, who's the babe? Kelly, what are you doing here? Where's the uniform assigned to protect you? I'm working on this case with you, Ken. I'm a target. Where would I be safer than with you two? Take me along or I'll just follow you, Uncle Ken. You know that. She's got a point. She's a target now. I just promise to stay out of our way. You got it, Uncle Ken. I promise you'll never call me Uncle Chuck. Cool, let's run through the victim list again. Thanks, Justice. Uh, I'll catch that later. Good luck. guy must be trained. He's too good. Nobody teaches killing people. He's testing different killing methods. You and I believe in the art's effectiveness. He's actually trying it out. And he's got a list of victims. And we just made the top 40. Yeah, but I think he's almost done. I just wish we knew the sequence. Who's next? Why'd you quit, Ken?
I was working cereals like you. I was tracking this bastard. I got inside his mind. He'd already killed ten by then. But I took him down. I just seen too much. Done too much. I never want to experience that kind of evil again. I just don't need it in my life. Bess you up pretty bad, right? Almost killed me. I killed my marriage too. I've been trying to salvage that, but you saw how it is. Well, I was married myself a long time ago, back when I was in the academy. It ended badly. I tried to blame it on the job, but it wasn't really that. I didn't try hard enough. It's too bad. Mm. You no, know, Ken. I don't know you that well, but you don't seem to me to be the kind of guy that would uh, give up. Am I right? Yeah, I guess. Then you shouldn't give up on your marriage, man. I mean, to this day, the only thing I regret is that I didn't save my marriage when I had the chance to. And all I had to do was call her. Oh, all you have to do is call her. How come this parable about you is suddenly about me? Well, Ken, the moral of the story is you should call her. Try to fix it. If you got the chance, you should take it. Yeah, maybe I will. You've got motive. You've got opportunity. You're guilty. You know nothing about me, Chuck. Yeah, I don't want to know anymore, believe me. Look, here's a quarter. I flip it, it comes up heads, you call it. Deal? Yeah. There you go. like you win. What? It's just a magic. <laughs> All right. Oh, he's killing me. Megan, it's me. Listen, can we talk? Yeah, all of us. Look, I really want to try and work this out. Oh, shopping. Here we go. Toast. To what? Uncle Ken. Shut out the whole world. You shut me out. And I can't. I refuse to live like that. Yeah, and it's the biggest mistake I ever made. And it won't happen again. But I need your support all the time. You have it. You always have. So what do you say? We can live together again as a family? I want to try. Yeah, me too. So how about you guys move back in the house this weekend? Really, Daddy? Yeah, I'll try and free up some time for this case to help. Sounds like a plan. Lauren would love to move back home. Yeah, I would, I would, yeah. <laughs> 
What about you? Yeah, me too. Damn. It's okay. I'm sorry. It comes with the territory. Okay, don't forget, huh? This weekend. Mm -hmm. This weekend. Hey, be careful. Mm. Talk to another one, Baker. No weapons, no prints, no witnesses, nothing. Oh, there's some letters written on the rug. Right. Mm. So we're gonna stick around here for a while. Thanks, Bill. Okay, Jeff. Oh, that mean anything to you? No, you. I got a C and an H, an A, and whatever's under my man's hand there. Do me a favor. Uh, get some good shots of this and blow them up for me, okay? Thanks. What do you make of this? There's only one missing. Uh, mystery picture. What do you think is in it? You did good, Kelly. Hey, Wiggs, come here. Get pictures of this wall. As soon as the crime scene's been processed, get them over to the station, ASAP. Okay. Chaddick, Chadha, Chadnick, Chadorn, Chadwick, Chadwin, Chaff, Chafin, Chafkin, Shigeri, Shagus, Shagnon, Shahali, Chase, Chafkin, Chain. I tell you, he's trying to write the killer's name. This doesn't feel right. Not writing champagne, that's for sure. Maybe he's writing something else. Chamber, Chamberlain, Chambermaid. Yeah, the Chambermaid did it. Chamber music, Chambray. Chameleon, Camphor, Chammy, Chamomile, Champ, ch Champagne. Champion. Champ Wait a minute. Champion, son of a bitch. It's been here all along. What? The victims were champions. He's killing them all. Check this out. Boxing, wrestling, tough man, kendo, karate, kickboxing. Shit, all these guys were champions. But they wouldn't have fought each other. They have their own competitions. They fought each other once. Huh? And the link is her father, my instructor. Wait a minute, what are you talking about? You ever hear of the Masters Challenge? Damn. Remember the tagline? It's the Tournament of Champions. I've got some magazines with those pictures in my office. Come on. Oh, oh, get out of here. Here it is. That's it. This is the photo from the Master's Challenge. You recognize anyone? Most of these guys are staring at steel in drawers at the morgue. You think our boy's in this shop? Eddie Cunningham, boxer, victim. Dud Shorts, tough man, victim. Kurt McKinney, point karate. Mark Kramer, kickboxing, victim. Master Takaido, victim. Kevin Haley, judo, victim. Who are these guys? First guys, Chad Atkins. Kung Fu styles disqualified during the Tournament of Champions for excessive contact. Seems he broke some poor guy's ribs. I like him so far. Don't fall in love, it'll be a tough arrest. Records show he was killed three years ago in a car accident. All right, give me an update. Six murdered. Of the two remaining in the photograph, one's dead, car crash confirmed. Which leads this guy, Willie Naylor. And he fits the profile. Age, weight, height. 
You recognize him, Kelly? No. It happened so fast. I don't know. This Namath guy has a sheet you wouldn't believe. He's been picked up a whole bunch of times for assault. Even did time for assault with intent to kill. No model citizen, huh? It gets worse. We had him here last month on something unrelated. Couldn't hold him. Oh, wonderful. And we won't let him get away this time. Well, what do you think? Is this our guy or what? Everything points to him, Chief. Well, let's grab the bastard. I'll set up the strike team. Come on. Do I get a gun? Sorry, Kelly, you can't come along. You're going to have to stay here until we catch this guy. But you said yourself that I was safer with you, too. Yeah, but we're walking into the valley of the shadow of death here. We're not going to be able to protect you. You know I can take care of myself. Discussion's over. The decision's been made. It's for your own good, Kel. Come on, let's go. All right. That must be why I feel so good. <laughs> Mr. Guest, please sign in.
seemed a little too easy, don't you think? Way too easy. The guy barely fought back. And he wasn't a great fighter. Found real killer. 132 Lynn Avenue. I'm inside. Kelly. Shit. Kelly, how nice to see you again. Have we met? Don't be coy. I've done some research on your career. You're a national champion, right? That's right. How interesting. It's right there, hit it! Kelly. What a lovely family. What a lovely family. Someone has to take care of them, O'Hara. Someone has to take care of them, O'Hara. Hello? Megan, are you okay? I'm fine. This is so like you, letting your friend do the dirty work. What friend? Your friend. Told me you couldn't get away and help me move everything in. Listen to me, Megan. Where is he now? He's sitting next to Lauren. They're getting along. Look, if you can get away, then do it. If you can't, then don't let on that anything's wrong and I'll be right there. I won't let him hurt you, baby, I promise. I love you. I'm scared, Ken. I know, I know. I'll be right there. Don't hang up. Let me call Lauren. Is that my good buddy, Ken? Let me talk to him. Come for me, Ken. I'm waiting in the forge. By the way, it's just us now. No one else. Just you. Or they're dead. That's evidence. There ain't gonna be no trial. Yeah! It's just me and him now. That's bullshit! We're a team now. I'm going with you. No, you're not. Chin, we're cops. We don't do this. Chin! This is my family. I can't take the chance. Kick his ass. Thank you for coming. Welcome to hell! Where are they? You won't shoot me. Especially since I'm the only one who knows where your lovely wife and daughter are. Ha 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 ha!
for the grand championship match. Life or death, it's in your hands now. Yeah! Come on! Hey, 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 hey,